Well, we are joined by our first uh, panel of the night. We welcome in the Reverend Jesse Lee Peterson, president of Bond, Brotherhood Organization of a New Destiny. That's bondinfo.org. And David Swerglick, assistant editor uh, with the Post Everything page at the Washington Post. Gentlemen, welcome to both of you. A pleasure to have both of you here. Uh, David, let me start with you um, uh, on this, this issue of uh, the administration uh, easing the, uh, the visa rules for certain European travelers to uh, some terrorist hotspots around the world. Uh, Rick Santorum was, was dumbfounded, as I am. How do you explain something like that? Yeah, I don't have a lot of explanation for it. These rules are new. I haven't done a lot of reporting on it, Steve. It strikes me that this may not be the right time politically or security wise to l lessen or relax uh, visa restrictions. There may be an argument for it down the road. I could also see the administration making a case that in certain cases they don't need to strengthen them. They've made the case all along that they have put uh, security regulations in place that protect the homeland. Relaxing regulations at this time. I'm not sure why they're 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 doing that and why they're presenting it in this. Reverend, and any theory, Reverend? You know, I'm not surprised. There's nothing Obama has done in the last seven years to protect us. I remember the uh, uh, terrorist attack in San Bernardino, California, and rather than deal with that as it is, Barack Obama went after the Second Amendment. I think that this is just an example of things to come. We have the rest of this year with this guy. We can expect him to do anything except protect the American citizens. So I am not surprised at all. Steve. All right, let's move on to the uh, the race. And, uh, you know, there, there are polls out today on the Democrat side where a new one tonight in uh, Iowa, Bernie Sanders up by eight points over Hillary. And uh, in the same poll in December, Hillary was up by 18 CNN poll. CNN yesterday, 60 to 33 Sanders over Hillary. David, um, is it time for Hillary to panic with the enhanced investigation, the revelations of the caliber of security uh, violation apparently on these documents she had on her server? How could she possibly recover from all this? Yeah, I don't know if it's time for her to panic, and I'm not going to predict that she's, you know, all of a sudden going down or that Sanders is, you know, going to run the tables. But I do think that Clinton has the same problem that she had in 2008 when she was facing an upstart challenge from Senator Barack Obama, which is that she doesn't excite people. There are a lot of people, certainly on the Democratic side, who think she's competent. They like her. They, they agree with her on the majority of Democratic issues, but she isn't exciting to them. She doesn't, uh, you know, present a, a candidate, a profile of someone who's going to change the way things are done in Washington. She's an insider. She's an establishment right. person. And that has, I think, been a problem for her in the past, and it's a problem for her now. Jesse, it seems, okay. like, it seems like 2008 all over again with the added, uh, with the added caveat of an FBI investigation. That's right. I, I believe that she's already panicking. And what we are hearing, what we are hearing is that she is panicking. You even had feminists, some feminists who came out against her the other day because they found out that uh, her husband had um, sexually abused women while in the White House. And Hillary Clinton went after those ladies rather than dealing with her husband. And so that alone has her panicking. But with all the email scandals and things like that, I heard her say the other day, in essence, that if she wins, it's just a continuation of Barack Obama. Yeah, let her run on that. <laughs> yeah, I think that was a message to Barack Obama. Please don't investigate me. Yeah. Do not well, do it. Today. It's a little, gonna, little late not to be uh, investigated, well, but we'll see. Guys, well, yeah. well, Steve, I will. Yeah. Yeah, David. No, Steve, I was just going to say, the, regardless of what both of you are saying, the Obama message, the Obama record is popular with Democratic based voters. I don't think there's any question. Well, all right. But uh, general election, I think that would be a losing strategy. I want yeah. you to hear Stacey Dash uh, talk about the call by Al Sharpton and others. Uh, Will Smith now says he's going to join his uh, his wife, uh, not going to the Oscars because no black actors were nominated. Listen to what Stacey Dash said on Fox. So you say there shouldn't be a BET channel? No, I don't think so, no. Just like there shouldn't be a Black History Month. You know, it, we're Americans, period. That's it. Are you saying there shouldn't be a Black History Month because there isn't a White History Month? Exactly, exactly. All right, 20 seconds each. Jesse, she says the boycott call is ridiculous and took it even further. Go. You know, I've been saying for a long time, we don't need a Black History Month. We don't need a, a Black BET 
if it's wrong for white people to have white history month or white whatever channel they want to call it then it's wrong for black people to do it too but what it is steve they want to keep us separated they want to divide okay, us all right. in order to come da david go ahead Look, uh, you know, Black History Month doesn't have the same meaning that it maybe once did, but the, the, the way that Stacey Dash is framing the argument I think is faulty. Look, there's nothing wrong it's with not. having BET, Black Entertainment Television as a channel, just in the same way there's not wrong with having institutions that focus on, you know, publications, universities, et cetera, that focus All right, on All right, guys, Jewish we got to end it there. Culture, Reverend Catholic Jesse Lee Peterson, culture. David Swerdlick, thank you both very much. Folks, up next, we're taking your phone calls at 877-NEWSMAX, 877-639-7629.